Hello everybody, welcome back to Tim's Jury Arena here. So, what we have in store for us today is we're going to be doing using one of our pre-release codes. So it says use this code to unlock six core set 2020 booster packs in MDG Arena. Um, it says limit of one per account, so we can't, we can't just limp infinitely do this. E nine. So we've got six packs. Unfortunately, it's not a um, pre-release sealed or a draft, much like I was hoping for. So we get one pack here. Temple of Epiphany. That will help us with our teamer deck here. Temple of Mystery <laughs> yet again, and some of our blue greens. Simic decks here. A rare wild card, which is quite. We may need it for our shop lands as well. Or temple. Scheming Symmetry. Not too excited about that one. It just doesn't seem to be what we want to be doing. Thunderkin Awakener. That's my fourth one, I think. I believe. Um, Dracoseth. More Flames. I really, I do need that. I'm sorry to be doing in my Sort of Reanimator deck. Embodiment of Agonies, not really what I'm looking for. Temple of Triumph, okay. Good for our playing at cleansing. Uh, so the Temple of Triumph is good for the Boros Feather deck. Playing at cleansing, great for um, any kind of control. Ooh, Night, Book, uh, Night Pack Ambusher. This is really, really cool. As a flash. Four, 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 four. So that's already fine. Those stats are fine. Flash is fine, but the second ability is that whenever you don't cast a spell during your turn, you'll get a two-two wolf, and other wolves and werewolves get plus one plus one. Okay. So, oh, damn it! Oh, I wish we had more um, gold here. So let's see here. Tr traditional draft. That costs fifteen hundred gems. So a a sealed core set. How much does that cost? Two thousand gems. Um, ranked War of the Spark Draft. So that's five thousand gold. So we need to work our way towards five thousand gold, and then I can actually do one of that for us. What is this meta game challenge? Keep playing until you reach one match loss. Interesting, but we don't have two thousand deck, two thousand gold, either. Okay, this starts in thirty-four hours. That's interesting. Okay, so I suppose we need to play blue white Azorius flyers. Have we got Safara? Okay, so. The blue white flyers list is leading more towards a, a. I'm not sure if. Since there's a Rakdos deck that we've been encountering, it's actually crushed this deck so much since we've got so many one drops that have one toughness. So, let's look up Spirit. Spirits here, cat spirit. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> that is really interesting. A one-two cat spirit. That ooh, grateful apparition. There's also another spirit. Uh, let's see, let's see. Spectral sailor, thoughtbound phantasm, departed deckhand. So of a spell, not an ability. So that's really nice. I don't want to spend my rare cards on the Supreme Phantom though, uh, so that's an unfortunate thing. We've got five uncommons, so it can unlock the rest of the Imperian Eagles. I think that's a fine investment. Now this does buff up our other spirits that are that die and from the the mechanic. What's that? 
set of the scales, the undying, not undying, I totally forgot. The one with the set of the scales that when it dies it creates spirit, but whatever. So we've got this, I think that's fine, all spirits are flying. Uh, we don't want to waste another rare slot on the Supreme Phantoms, although I think it's going to be necessary if we wanted to create the spirits flower decks that I want to make. So I think we have to play a four, four of Fabra wins. Um, Safara, definitely what we want to be playing. So, so let's add one more of her. Got Eternal Kefnet. Godless Shrine. I think I want a more Godless Shrine. So, Soren. Vengeful Blood Lord. This is so difficult. We we don't have enough rare slots to get all of our shock lands. Oh, this is unfortunate. But I think I would rather have the Soren over the Godless Shrine. Let's see here. I think we need a minimum of two Sorens just to give our creatures life link and to be able to bring them back and I think the the flyers list is going to lean towards the black for this reason let's see plus one plus one I can't do that apparently plus one icon of ancestry we do icon of ancestry an artifact and it's a three drop we don't have it and that's a rare as well oh this is so difficult okay so wing words is fine so we'll get rid of these so we're playing with strictly um, spectral sailor so we've got five uncommon slots so Let's work on this. Make sure it's good and optimized. Now I want to get a second cabinet into here as well. We have a cavalier. We don't have. We could get the blue cavalier as well. Not collected. Cavalier of Gales. This is really powerful. So that's exactly 60 cards. Uh, Shalai is going to be into the sideboard I believe let's see here Lyra sideboard as well Cerulean Drake definitely sideboard don't have enough in common slots for it so let's see here so we want to I think we'll be aggressive enough for the for the decks for the control matchups. Let's see here. Black. Spirits. Pestilent spirits. And flying. Unfortunately, we can't get flying spirits. What is that mechanic? Um, I take it. Here we go. Afterlife. Let's see here. Set for the scales would be fantastic. So perhaps main decking. I think I'll leave the Supreme Phantom in. Take out the Dovin, put in a tithe taker. A second tithe taker. Let's see here. So what else do we need? Let's do the gate. A Dobin's veto. Yeah, that's definitely going to go on the sideboard. Seal away. Yeah, seal away. I think it's going to be fine. Going to do... Shalai. How many Shalai's do I have? 
Let's put two in the sideboard. That should be sideboard as well. Set all the wreckage. One of that's away. Fairy Duelist. I'm not sure if this is good enough or not. But it is a flyer and has flash. Uh, unbreakable formation. I don't think we'll be doing any of that as well. Hmm. Conclave Tribunal. I think we might be going wide. It may be difficult to do that though. So let's take out one July and do one prison realm. And of course we don't have prison realms, so we'll go back to July. So we'll main board two tithe takers, so when they die they gain afterlife, they're spirits and they are flyers. So we have instant sorceries, we got ten instant sorceries. So that's I think that's bloody fine. Oh, curious obsession. And that's the other other issue that we would have. Since we don't have any of that, we're not going to be drawing much. So opt and winged words will be taking care of that, hopefully. Oh, but it's, n it's just not quite that. Spectral sailor can help, maybe. Okay, so Spelpios main board. That's certainly fine. I thought we had something that flashed in and countered it and was a flyer would be fantastic. Okay, so let's try it this way. We've got spirit, 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 none of these or other spirits as well. Let's just try that. Yes, please. Where are you? Craft all of it. Finish this deck. Wait, we've got one more uncom uncommon. Okay, so we've got one more uncommon. Let's do, let's try it out Terramander for the Spectral Sailor. Now I think this card's fantastic. Okay, so our sideboard looks pretty good. I don't, uh, good for battle is not supposed to be in there. Actually, good for battle is might be interesting enough uh, just to get out of that range. But we definitely have a chart the course. So let's just add that to the sideboard just in case we need more card draw. Okay, so it's not really Zorus Flies, it's going to be uh, Esper Flies. It's just solely because of that Sorin. Actually, let's. Since we're not specifically just spirits, I think we can just cut the Supreme Phantom. And. Flying in black. Don't need green. So we've got Kite Self Rebooted, but that doesn't really help us with s creatures. So nothing just... Nothing here really helps here. We've got the Spawn of Mayhem. We haven't got any Spawn of Mayhems. So let's see the Black White Lands. So we've got Isolated Chapel. Oh, we've got 23 lands. We want to get down to 22. Temple of Silence. Mm, no, we want to get things in untapped, so we can't really have that. And we're most definitely blue-based. Solitary Grave will be important. So we drown Catacomb. So let's cut some more planes. two lands. Uh, we could cut another creature. Let's run at 60. Oh yeah, we cut the Supreme Phantom. Cut the 61. And let's try this out. We may be a bit m less inconsistent. But we will do some flying. Not sure how this will turn out. Hopefully I th that Rakdos deck though. If you haven't played it, basically they do all these sacrifice outlets with the main devil, so basically, and Judith. So they'll be taking triggers from dying and then triggers from sacrificing as well. And that's going to be very, very detrimental towards our 1-1s. One -one so 
and it may be actually correct to switch to this turn play off curve okay so this is this is good this is not the hand that we want but we do have two card draw spells we got a curve one two three we're not doing much but we've got it okay so we'll go to opt at the end of their turn they could dot erase us and that would be probably what's happening nope no, it's a search for rest character so that's perfectly fine do you want more lands okay okay fantastic so we've got a tithe taker that prevents him from playing on our turn at least makes it harder so because the ability during m my turn spells my opponent's cast costs one more to cast and ability is cost one more to activate and has the afterlife of one oath of kaya nice good on that So we could play favorable wins and attack into them, but I don't think that's necessary. I think we'll, well actually, yeah, I, I don't think that's necessary. We can just get back to a full grip. Next turn we can play two favorable wins and get in for three. But if they to play to fairy, then that's going to be some trouble for us. Thought erasure. Now they know what we're planning. It's going to be a difficult choice for them. Safari is completely far off for them to play. I think they either take the Conclave Tribunal or the Imperian Eagle. Yeah, Conclave Tribunal or Imperian because that the Conclave Tribunal is what's most likely to answer their threats. Who? Cavalier of Gales is fantastic. Well, at this point, we'll play the favorable wins. Two of them. And they are not able to deal with enchantments very well unless they play to fairies. So I think these favorable wins are going to be staying on the table for a bit. Narset Part of Vales with two. Oh. Ooh. I don't think that's a good place that they're in right now. Having to shop to do that. At least I can kill the Narsets. Drawn from dreams. This is some sort of Esper control. More Esper control -y than usual. So I, I like this idea of playing the Conclave Tribunal. Yeah, yeah. Doing this. So I'd rather get rid of the Oath of Kaya and then attack Narset. Um, that allows them to not gain back any life and get back into the game from the Oath of Kaya, which is fine by us. They bend that Dovin's Veto. Oh, I guess we've got nothing but creatures in our hands. So they could have a Kaya's Wrath, and that would be problematic for us. But luckily, we've got. Recursive threats with Tithe Taker. And then Cavalry of Gales will, when it dies, it will shuffle back into our library and we can just cry too. So when it enters the battlefield, we can brainstorm. And they're going to shock them to kill a token. Well, I'm going to play Tithe Taker next turn. This turn. Oh. Cannot play that, we don't have a black source yet. So unfortunately we did not draw a land. So if they want to respond to us, they are going to have to play right now at this moment in time. Before this tide taker resolves. And they're desparking the conclave tr Okay. Okay, so that's fine. That forces them to play that. Okay, so during our turn, it takes for them to cost 
five mana to activate the search for Escanta. And God Eternal Kefnet is exactly what we need. Perfectly fine. I love it. Hopefully they don't have an absorb, but they've got to pay f form form an additional four mana for it. Uh, if they got an absorb from this search for Escanta, that would be very <laughs> they got a tie taker, they got plenty of these things here. We've got a six seven god eternal cafnet. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be problematic for them. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine from us. So they can take nine life to get back all of that stuff. And if they get do get back the uh, the Basilica Belt Haunt, we'll just discard the Soren since we cannot play it right now. I'd rather just play the Cavalier of Gale. So hopefully we can draw a land for it, or a Empyrean Eagle. Okay, so it looks like they're not going to the Commander Dreadhold route. They're looking for an answer for Kefnit, and that fairy is an answer for Kefnit, unfortunately. I know my responsibility. Uh, that's unfortunate for us. Don't worry, I got you. They've drawn four, five more lands than we have. And if we've been drawing at least one land every other turn, we'd be at six or seven mana. Let's see here. Do we want to replay the Kefnet into the Command Jet Horde? So I... I think it's fine here that they can just command it back. But right now I'm looking for a land, so I'm going to play Opt. Can't spell pierce with that to fairy, so that's useless for us. Perfect. We've got a land. We'll play the Kefnet again, and we'll just attack their life points directly. No need for them to gain back life, especially when they can just command the Dread Horde it back. Searching on their turn, find to fairy here of Dominaria, and they've got exactly enough mana to cast it as well. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate for us. We could draw black mana and play Soren. If that was a black source, then that would have been fantastic since we could just pink fairy down. Let's try this. They got enough for a Commander Dreadhorde mana. But I don't think they want to be casting it. And that's going to be tucking Sorry, God Eternal. Oh, they're going to untap. Oh, that's very bold. Very bold indeed. No, I'm not going to reveal that island. I'm just going to attack them directly. Sure, they can Caius Wrath. I believe that's what's going to come. This puts them out of Command the Dreadhorde range. They'll have to answer to Fairy. And it's during our turn. Yeah, that's fantastic for us. So I'm going to play Cavalier of Gales. So uh, there's an R no set on the battlefield. If they happen to have to cast Kaya's Wrath, then uh, we get some value out of it. Okay. So we played a land this turn. I think we'll put back Vengeful Sore and Blood Vengeful Blood Lord. Um Ordering did will be done in the next step here. Okay, um, we can play Storm Tamer, but I don't think there's a need for that. So f I think we'll take the Terramanda as well. <sighs> let's see. No, let's put back the Storm Tamer. I think we want to draw the Soren first since we've got the Water of Grave. And then the Storm Tamer. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, wait. Damn it. Played it all wrong. Playing the Terramander. 
Okay, well, it's it's not bad that we play the Storm Tamer next. E they've got to play. Uh, they've got a Tyrant Scorn. We will meet again. Sure, they're not going to be able to ult the Teferi, so not worried about that. They've got a massive board state facing them down. If they, they wrath the board, we get a 3 3 flyer. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead, wrath the board. Have you got something for this tithe taker on the following turn? And we just attack them. Um, so they're playing. Kaya's Wrath, so they're shuffling away our Sorin. Okay, this was this needs to be different ordered. Well, I'm going to shuffle it in anyways. Six, yeah. That's unfortunate for us. Scrying two. I think that's fantastic. 10 minute follow up. 2, yeah, this guarantees if they do gain life somehow that we can do something about it. Otherwise, we'll just play Sephira next turn and hit them. Okay, they've got to very time Reveler. Yeah, that gets rid of that. Okay, so unfortunately, we've got to ferry on that step. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, so they have to ult to ferry, and then they have to draw a card. Cast down, okay. So they can tuck. I think this is going to be very difficult from here. No, I am not making this up as I go. Okay. Do this and do they have something to draw? Yep, okay. So that's game. Concede. So close, so close there. Very close. Okay. So let's bring in Shalai. I think that's fantastic. Um, extra conclude tribunals. An extra spell pierce. Devin's veto as well. So we'll cut down on a lord, and um, we'll cut the shape down on a tribunal here. Safara so is a bit too slow. It's really nice though. I'm not sure if Cavalier Gale is going to be quite good enough though. Cut down on one of the favorable winds. Um, they're not really doing damage except for the Oath of Kaya, and that means they can kill everything really early on, anyways. This one's fantastic about able to resolve. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine black sources. That's enough for just one card that's black. I think this Cavalier of Gales maybe these two may be difficult, but they're the what our deck needs wants to be is why we're running these cards. These tempo decks. Oh plus hell. Okay. Well, at least they're not playing. They're playing more spells, so I think we can just dump these, and we can rely on Kefnet and our bigger creatures. Hopefully, this has come back to bite us in the ass. If they bring in a liar, Don Bringer, or something like that. Let's see here. Our opponent is Casey, who's a Chandra playing Esper, and we are Nissa playing. Esper as well. Okay, we'll keep this. Fantastic. 
more of what we want to see. Spectral Sailor. Pay to life. Pass the turn. Well, they're tapped, so we'll go ahead and get in the Spectral Sailor. Play the Siren Storm Tamer. The Sailor is fantastic. Be able to just draw when we're stuck on mana. Well, at least once we get to the fourth fourth mana. Okay. So, so we're not playing much of anything right now. So we'll go ahead and draw two cards. So I think at this point we've won a fantastic position. We can just keep slamming in. We've got the spell pierce handy. Whatever they choose to play. Uh, if not, we've got the Opt or the Spectral Sailor. Yeah, let's not do that. Teferi is not going to ruin our day this game. We'll go ahead and draw two cards. And it's not a land either, but that, we drew a spell pierce at least. That's fantastic. We'll just keep banging in here. That's not a creature. I mean, that's not a spell. So, since we can't cast the Sorin, we'll go ahead and get rid of it. It's unfortunate that we have to get rid of Sorin. Because Sorin can bring back so many things, but we need to have these other cards. And obviously, that is not going to do much good for them. For us. Okay. We need to. Ooh, if only that was a land, that'd be perfect. Okay, that's also fantastic. Just jam in here. They gain back the three life, but at least we're still ahead. We've got a Dovin's Veto and a Spell Pierce for anything they, they want to cast. Okay. So that's going to be a bit troublesome for us. They switch to a more creature base. Uh, so that's going to deter us from attacking for a bit. So we wouldn't have drawn land even if we kept that winged world. Winged words. So that's keeping us on the ground. Glacier Fortress, that's perfect for us. So, we can play Kefnet, we can draw a card, we can play Empyrean Eagle, and hold up the Spell Pierce. What do we want to do? Like Empyrean Eagle, like it here. No attacks so far. Here is where Safara would be fantastic. Here, yeah. we play Safara. All of the creatures get indestructible. Well, it destroys their creatures as well. So we're totally fine here. Um, they want to play to fairy. We've got a Kefnet at least. Just one off of doing all these things, however, we've got a Conclave Tribunal for that Excellence Binding. So I think this is fine. Or do we want to put it back down onto. Let's put it. Yeah. Let's just put it onto the. So basically, it's a time a time warp for them. Enter stat. So don't need to shop for this one. So they only have three cards left. We've got. Conclave Tribunal to deal with any Planeswalkers as well. We've got Dovin's Veto and Spell Pierce. If they want to play the Negates, then we've got that. Yeah, let's not do that. And we've got the Isolated Chapel as well. Yeah. Let's not have that happen. Okay, fantastic. we got the Tribunal for that. So 
also it happens they did side into more creature base so the spell pierce is slightly more useless right now well they're going to take the second tribunal but at least the spell pierce will keep them off of playing something this turn so fantastic Kefnet is a resilience threat. Keeps coming back. Drawn from dreams. So I think actually, well, they know we have the spell pierce, so they won't be. They're not playing it this end regardless, so there's no point in playing the spell pierce here. Since they're not going to play into our spell pierce, and they're going to wait till the next thing to play it, so they don't get that spell, spell pierce. But looking at seven cards, are they really going to spell the ri Okay, okay. Klein. So at least we can keep hitting them with it. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. Come on, they do exactly D spark. Drawn from Dreams is fantastic, phenomenal here. They side in the creatures when we side it into more spell based effects. Um, we do need the cabinet uh, here. Uh, if we don't draw an answer for this Slyre Don bring in this turn, then uh, we are screwed. <sighs> They've got Command the Dreadhorde. It looks like they're looking through our graveyard. We've got Sorin, all of our cheap flyers that they can dreadhorde back all of their creatures. Yeah, looks like we've got the Crown the Dreadhorde. We've got they've had exactly enough mana every single time. That's where Spell Pierce is terrible. It's really good like uh, early game. And I thought we had it. I thought we were going super duper well oh, that game won though I wonder what else we could have done differently to get that win oh maybe if we just save that conclave tribunal for something else and just attack them and let them gain that two life instead of a three and kill our flyer I think maybe that's the only play differently that we could have happened so we'll keep this turn into favor turn into favor wins fantastic We may be paying four life for this for a two two on turn two. <laughs> but that's all we can do with this. If we can draw into land la uh, well it looks like they've just could have conceded. Not sure what they're playing. But I feel I have a feeling it's not good. I'm gonna preemptively side into a liar Don Bringer. And perhaps a cut back on one favor wins for a shalai. So we're going a bit bigger here. Just slightly. Waiting on your opponent, Taylor Rose. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's a much better hand. Okay, this is a difficult choice to do. Do we put back Soren or do we put back Shalai? I say we put back Shalai. Soren gives us recursion with our creatures. Since they're especially cheap. Of course, it's an Esper deck. We don't need to play that out right now. We've got the flash on it. So they're playing black white vampires, okay. I think we can defeat black white vampires. Oh, that's actually something we want to trade of for that Dr. Vanguard. So we'll attack with the Spectral Sailor here. Uh, I'm going to snap block with this. Oh, this is 
problematic. Yeah, very problematic. Okay. Yeah, after life one, we get that. So we're going to be singing four damage to that sword. So hopefully that's ex just enough for them to not. We've got to answer the Soren since that's going to give it lifelink. This Soren is phenomenal. Target creature gains death touch and lifelink until end of turn. Yeah, obviously no blocks. We want to keep our creatures alive. Okay, that's the problem. But... Damn. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, if we do this, the sword, that Dark Vanguard will die. I think we just want to attack here. And to answer that, Dark Vanguard before it becomes a problem. Or much more of a problem than it already is. So next time we can just play Sorin and keep swinging. Well, it's actually just a life swing, life point swing. We can at least get another one. Okay, what do they do at this point? Sacrificing a vampire to kill the spectral sailor, and that's a plus one. Okay, so. I can just kill a Sorin. Uh, hmm, let's let's opt to see what we can do first. Into another opt. I'd rather just draw into an answer. <laughs> yeah, another land. I think we'll just take this play of Sorin Vengeful Blood Lord into returning one, two, three. This this fella back. Attack Sorin. Gain maximum life. Um, that Sorin sacrificing vampires to kill other creatures, and gaining three life on top of that. Oh come on! Dismiss. They're going to sacrifice a vampire, kill the eagle, and then kill our Sorin. Oh! Provides so much advantage here. It's like we did nothing. Literally, we played a full mana Sorin, brought back something, and it did nothing for us. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to even try, bother trying to continue this. <sighs> Fantastic. How about yourself with the wreckage? Shall I and, and get that second shall I in? And it's not being something that great. Well, actually, they're playing more non-creature spells, so we'll leave in that. This is game two as well. Let's try these, since they're not really casting spells in our turn, tie takers may not be favourable for us. Let's cut uh, Cavalier of Gales. Bigger creatures seem perfectly fine. Let's see, maybe we don't even need to lie at all. But that prevents the Sauron from actually killing our creatures. So maybe we cut down on one Lord and one Storm Tamer. Let's try that. We've got nine, thirteen one drops. Okay. Obviously we'll play first. And this seems fine. If they keep the hand... Uh, 
I think they aggressively mulligan for the Soren Planeswalker. And we'll have that ready with the Spell Pierce as well. So, I'm going to pay two life. No need to, because we could have an Opt. Now that's semi problematic for us. So I'm going to go ahead and do the wing words. Uh, I don't think that they'll be able to obviously turn to Soren, no. A Knight of the Ebon Legion, a second knight. Okay, now that's problematic. And I think I'm just I'm just gonna chop block with this Siren Storm Tamer. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Look at that. Let's not let that Call of the Feast res resolve. So I think we're in the clear here. Um so this becomes a four five. Oof. Not White. Unfortunately, these Knights of the Ebon Legions can just get in and throw. No blocks for this. No pumps, surprisingly. They've gotten extra power onto the board. Okay. So they're, grow it, they're growing it that way. So shall I? Comes down. Enters tapped. And I think so. We'll take. We can take two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll block one of these. Um, so that's going to be plus three, plus five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If they want to pay for life for that, it's fine. I think that's the only way we can do this. That's fine. They let, they let it go. Well, that's exactly eight. <laughs> um, have a good good game. So they completely botched that by playing the Dust Legion Zealot. Okay, and we won a match. And let's open that pack. So we've got 850 more gold today. And we've got... <laughs> And we get the Soren. Fantastic. Deck. Here come out the Dread Horde. Lifelink. Uh, so I think these. Okay, Soren. Soren, Vengeful Blood Lord. That's not going to. Wouldn't, yeah. Vampire. So let's. Anyway, so I'm just going to do a quick um, build of it. Seems to be fine. Yeah. Anyway, so well, thank you so much for joining me for these S these two matches of S with Flyers. Um, there, it can use definitely more work. I think it had almost a good matchup against that Esper uh, Control deck. However, we never got the Safari out. So I think if we just played more Safaris, able to play it and have all the Flyers, they cannot Kaya's Wrath us. The only way they can get it is Cry of the Canarium. And then, even with that, they won't answer the Safari itself. So then they are in a problem for that. So, okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. Bye-bye.